Hi everyone, welcome back to Data to Crunch, where we simplify data analysis and engineering. So in today's video, we will walk you through the steps of connecting MySQL to Excel so that we can use Power Query to manipulate the data in Excel. So what ODBC exactly is? So it is nothing but open database connectivity, which is a standard API that allows the applications to connect to and interact with wide variety of either relational or non-relational databases using common interface. So basically, it abstracts the specifics of different DBMS, which is nothing but database management systems, by enabling the users to access the data from various databases like MySQL, SQL Server, Oracle, PostgreSQL, and many more without needing to worry about the underlying differences in how each database functions. So ODBC drivers act as an intermediary, intermediary between an application such as Excel, Power BI, or other analytic tools and a database. So these drivers translate post standard ODBC requests into a format that database understands, allowing the seamless communication. So it has some key features like it has universal database access, real-time data retrieval, efficient data integration, enhanced productivity, simplified data connectivity for developers, and support for large and complex query. So the first thing first, we need to check the bit version of, uh, of your Excel to ensure that you are downloading the correct MySQL version. So we need to make sure that whether it's a 32 or 64 bit as we will be needing this information to install the right version of MySQL. So for that sake, what you need to do is like go to the files in that you will get the option of accounts. In accounts, you will have about Excel option. You need to click on that and over there you will get the bit version, whether it's 64 bit or 32 bit Excel, Microsoft Excel, which you have in your in your computer system. So afterwards, what you, we need to do is like we need to head to our, uh, to the My, MySQL official website and we need to download the latest version of MySQL that matches uh, our Excel bit version. So afterwards, uh, after downloading the MySQL, we need to download the ODBC driver to connect the Excel to the MySQL. So we will be now moving to our practical part and we'll download the essentials. So now I'm on the official website of MySQL Workbench download. So as our Excel bit version was 64 bit, so we need to make sure that we are installing 64 bit MSI installer for MySQL. So I'll just click on download. I'll click on no thanks, just start my download. So it will start downloading respect to MySQL version. So once it once it's downloaded, so I'll click on that. So it will open Workbench setup wizard. So click on next. Next. So I, you can either select setup type complete or custom. Right now I'll cho choose cu uh, custom. I'll click on next, next and install. So now it's, it has started installing Workbench on my computer system. So it will take some time to install all the configurations onto your system. Okay, so wizard is completed, so I'll click on finish. So we are done with our MySQL installation. So now we will move ahead for ODBC installation now. Okay, so now we need to download respective ODBC connectors. So under the version of 9.0, we have 64-bit version of ODBC. So as our Excel was of 64-bit, we need to make sure that we are downloading ODBC of 64-bit of version. So I'll click on download. No thanks, just start my download. Once it will get downloaded, I'll click on that downloaded version. So it will open that respective connector setup wizard. So we need to set up this ODBC now. So I'll click on next. I'll accept the terms. Next. Again, I'll go opt for the custom. We can go for typical also. So it will by default download the required programs. Click on next. Install. Okay, so now wizard is completed. I'll click on finish. So now our respective ODBC has been downloaded now. So we will now we will try to set up that respective ODBC so that we can access that ODBC via our Excel sheet. Now search your down respective downloaded ODBC into your system. 
click on that version so go to the drivers so the, so that you can see over there that you have odbc 9.0 unicode driver there so we will go to system dsn and we will try to add our odbc here so click on add so we need to add unicode 9.0 unicode driver here so click on finish once you click on finish it will give you data source configuration here so you can give a respective any name which you want here description i'll just paste the same so tcp ip drive server so you need to check this server into your mysql so this is my mysql workbench so in this i have one local instance here so i'll just click on settings of that so i can see that my host name here is 127.0.0.1 so i need to provide that server here and the user my username in mysql is root so i'll try to give that same username here so i'll give root as the username and the password which we have set for our respective mysql so i'll give that password here we don't have any databases okay so we have databases here so if you want to select any database you can select it or you can leave it blank and you can try to test it so our test result is connection successful that means that our odbc can get connected successfully so i'll just click on ok so now here in odbc data source administrator under 64 bit version we can see that our respective odbc driver has been added as we have given the name mysql access so it is added successfully so i click on ok and now we will try to access this odbc driver from our excel now so now i have one blank excel sheet open i'll go to data get data from other sources and over there i'll get the option from odbc so i need to select that odbc option okay so now it has opened one window for from odbc so it has given some data sourcing so if you remember while setting up the odbc i have given the name as mysql access to set up that odbc so i'll select that respective name as a data source name and i'll click on okay so once you will click on OK, it will ask you for username, password. So the username which I have given in the earlier step, it was root. And the password is that which you have set up. And now I'll try to click on connect. Okay, so now it has been connected successfully. That's why it is showing me all the schemas or all the databases which I have already present into my mysql so if you'll check here i have genu in the schemas i have january sales data sales data so i have that respective all the data is present in the navigator so i have mysql january sales data so now i need to work on my january sales data so i'll select that respective table on the right hand side it is showing me the sample of that data so now i'll click on load and transform data so i'll click on this transform data so now it has opened one power query editor so it's it says that we have our odbc connection successful and now my this excel sheet is connected to mysql successfully so from mysql I was having my January sales data database over there. So I have accessed that data into our into my MySQL and now that data is open in Power Query Editor. So that you can now manipulate that data in the Power Query Query Editor as you want and you can create charts or tables afterwards once you will manipulate this data in Power Query Editor using pivot charts and pivot reports. So in this way you can see that we can successfully connect our excel into with our mysql via odbc driver and that's it so we have learned how to connect mysql to excel successfully
So if you want to learn more about how Power Query works, then please visit the links mentioned below in the comment section. So if you have found this video helpful, please make sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for the more content. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time on Data Crunch.